In this video we're going to start creating some assets for our game world because it's quite bare at the moment. I'm going to create a UFO. So before I go dive into Maya and create the UFO itself, um, I've wanted to look at some history. So firstly, as you can see, UFOs have been around for, for centuries, if not thousands of years. If you look at ancient arts through the Egyptians and other civilizations that lived thousands of years ago, they make references in their arts about um, that UFOs exist. You can look at this Egyptian hieroglyphics here. If we go to modern times it was rumoured that the Nazi Germany if I, Nazi, if I type in this, it's rumoured that the Nazis had a base in Antarctica which they developed UFOs and possibly had contacts with another civilization. and there's loads of um, material here guys on YouTube if you want to have inspiration with your craft and uh, the most recent uh, case well, the most modern recent case is probably the Roswell incident. If I can type that, um, this happened in 1947. There's meant to be two crashes in in uh, New Mexico. So, if you want to research this stuff for inspiration on your own uh, models, then this is the way to go. So, there's a lot of evidence out there, or you can just go to images and search UFOs, like so. And every there's lots of images. Some of them are real. Some of them are fake. Okay, so in Maya, I'm going to model something like this, a circular craft with a, um, a dome at the top and a little bit at the bottom. Okay, so in Maya, we can start off with a cylinder, something rather simple, and draw it out in the center. And if you start Maya and you can't see the image, it's because you have not got the correct uh, viewing rendering on. So just go to Smooth Shade All. And by default, if we go to our inputs, we have 18 subdivision axes. I'm going to change that to 24 because I want the objects to be quite round. We need to be careful because Unity can't handle, say, 180. He won't do very well with that. So let's just stick to a low number. Let's just make this even thinner and uh, go to a face mode. So I'm just going to make that very round top of the craft. Go to the paint selection tool in a face mode and uh, select all these and extrude these out a little bit and let's go to a weld mode bring it up a tad and then bring everything in from the center okay so I want to make a little um, ring going around at this point so again we can press G to re repeat the previous command and again let's just shrink it in a tad like so and bring it up a tad okay again press G and I'm just going to bring it in a tiny bit more. Okay, that looks good to me. If you're not happy with these curves, we can go to an edge mode, double click to select the ring, and then shift right click, slide edge tool. And now we can bring the edges out or inwards if we'd like to. So I'm happy with that one. I'm just gonna bring this one inwards a little bit. Okay, that's fine. So to create the dome, um, I'm going to create a sphere in the center of the scene and I'm going to make sure this sphere has again 24 subdivisions at the top and at the bottom so it matches our cylinder so if we now go into a side view and delete half of the sphere so go into a face, just select half of the sphere, delete and now the pivot point might be in a weird position in the object mode if we hold D we can bring it up if we wanted to and now back into the perspective I want to attach this object onto my craft and I'm going to do it here so again get the paint selection tool hit the backspace button to remove those faces and um, snap this object to this one so I'm going to hold V and then middle click middle mouse click to the center of the craft and uh, now we need to make this object the right size so just bring it out so it matches the um, craft vertices works pretty nicely okay so before I attach this I'm going to shrink it down a bit like so and again let's go to another view let's go to the side bring it down onto the craft itself okay so to attach these two objects it's got a two step process so firstly select both of them then go to mesh combine now both the objects are combined but the vertices are not so so if we go to a vertex mode and um, merge vertex tool just go around the craft merging the vertices together so I'm going to speed up the video at this point and continue talking once this is done
Okay, so we've merged all the points together, and uh, there's a few errors here. I don't like the smoothing very much, so we can just go to an edge mode and double click to select this ring, and then go to normals, harden edge. Okay, simple as that. So let's go to an object again, see what things look like. It looks like the shape is going downwards at this point, and uh, I don't really want this. So I'm just going to take some time out to select all these faces. So to to change the shape of this, hold B, then just click and drag with the left mouse button. I'm going to go to a face mode. So it's selecting all of the rings, and we're just going to bring them up a bit. Okay, so making the brush a bit bigger now. Selecting all of these faces. Okay, just getting the ones I need. And um, to make this a bit more, a bit easier to do, I'm going to bring it to the side. Just bring it up a tad, just a tad for the um, the whole object. Now I want now I want to get rid of the outer faces. So to get rid of the faces, hold the Control key and then paint on there. Then they'll go away. And let's just do this right around, making sure not to get rid of the ones we need. Okay, go back into the side, and now we can bring it back up. That's better. So now the craft is actually going upwards. Cool. So getting there now. Um, I want to create a ridge in this loop. So click in these faces and double click the next one. Then the whole loop will be selected, extruding downwards this time in a world view. Let's just move this a bit, bring it down a tad. Okay, so this might come in handy in the next video when we add detail to it. So here's the UFO so far, not looking bad. So now we need to see the underneath of the craft and the grid's getting in the way a bit. So we can just go to show grid to get rid of that. Again, let's select these faces. And I think the craft is still a bit too thick at the bottom, so I'm just going to move it, move it up a bit. So I want to add a bit more detail on the bottom of this craft. So I'm going to extrude the faces out, bring them down, bring them down quite a bit, and extrude scale inwards, like so. Okay, so you might have seen a few movies or cartoons when a light shines out of this bit and then brings the the subject up towards the craft. So yeah, it needs to be quite big. I think this is about right. And uh, let's have a look. Yep, that looks about right to me. So I just want to add another loop in there. So if we go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop, then just select anywhere in this loop. And I think that's about right. Looks nice. So the last thing I want to do here is go back into a face mode and extrude this inwards. So it's a very simple thing to do. Just extrude upwards in the world view. Okay, so we might want to separate this object and make it open and close, but um, let's leave that for now. So this is the basic shape of the craft. I'm just going to add a few more features before I end this video because it looks a bit plain at the moment. The idea here is to get a very generic shape for your craft, then you can add as much detail as you like to it. So going back up to the top, it would be good if we could actually create some windows here if we wanted to. And to do this, we can just fiddle about with the edges get that slide edge tool out again and just move things up or down. So I'm going to move this one up, getting this one, moving it downwards. And now we have some room to make some windows if we wanted to. So I'm just going to make this a bit thinner, select these faces again, and again I'm going to extrude inwards again. Weld mode and extrude inwards. So that's just a little separation if we wanted to create some more objects here. Okay, the last thing, let's add some detail to the bottom of the craft. I'm going to select every other face like so. I'm just going around the craft selecting these faces. Okay, so and because our um, our cylinder had an even amount of numbers, we've we've got a um, equal amount of faces selected going around. Again, extruding, and this time I'm going to stay in the local the local scale and just and just scale it downwards. So then all of them scale in the right direction, as you can see. As you can see, I've created another four faces going around the extrusion. That's really good, and. From here, we can we can go in the world view and just bring things upwards a bit. 
like so making sure not to go past this this height so if I exit this now we have a, a nice really nice shape going around here you might notice that the edges here are, are smoothed out so I'm just going to select these face these are edges sorry going around selecting the edges and harden these out because the UFO is a solid object even though they're rumored well the, um, there's been reports that they are actually organic so there's no hard edges all curved but this could be a man-made one so selecting these edges normals harden edge just makes things a bit more me mechanical cool so I think that is the UFO done for now in the next video we'll add a lot of detail to this and improve it but um, as long as you keep things proportional around the craft it should look pretty nice and this is good for unity as well if there's not too much detail so thanks for watching guys in the next video we'll add detail um, add some really nice textures to this and make it look good so thanks for watching